Okay, everyone, this is probably like the easiest um, little crochet hat you will make. Uh, this is a free download from Lion Brand Yarn. It's called the First Fall Crochet Hat. It's pattern number 90380AD. And it calls for using Vanna's Choice. I don't have any Vanna's Choice. Vanna's Choice is a number four weight yarn, a medium weight yarn. So I'm going to use this yarn, which is a super saver, and it's also a size 4 medium weight. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay. I'm using this um, variated uh, yarn to, um, just because I like the way the little difference comes out. You're going to be using a size J hook, okay? And you're going to need your scissors and then just whatever else you need. Now for here, what we're going to do this, we're going to leave a long tail. I'm going to leave it maybe 14 inches. Because I'm gonna, you're gonna use this tail to sew it up and finish it off in the end. So, at least 14 inches. Okay, you can start your loop here, your uh, slip loop. There you go. So, if you can see here, I'm gonna be having a fairly long tail. Okay, and now here for this. Um, pattern you're only going to be using single crochets and in ch um, the ch uh, chains to do to begin they're asking you to chain 55 to chain to do the chain remember we yarn over meaning we wrap our hook around our yarn and we pull it through so that's one and you're going to do 55 so go ahead and do 55 your 55 chains Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and today's tutorial is how to make probably the easiest hat you will ever make. This is perfect for beginners. It only uses a chain stitch and a single crochet. You're also going to learn how to sew up a seam. It's worked as a flat rectangular piece and then it's joined together. And this is what it looks like. It can be made um, if you just measure for different sizes. This is a free hat download tutorial uh, pattern from Lion Brand and it is called the First Fall Crochet Hat. It is pattern, uh, let me see here, number 903808D and it's at, at the Lion Brand. I will try to put the link there for the pattern download. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. I did this in a variated stitch. It uses a medium weight yarn and a size J hook. So I hope you enjoyed this and let's get the party started. Okay everyone, this is probably like the easiest um, little crochet hat you will make. Uh, this is a free download from Lion Brand Yarn. It's called the First Fall Crochet Hat. It's pattern number 90380AD. And it calls for using Vanna's Choice. I don't have any Vanna's Choice. Vanna's Choice is a number four weight yarn, a medium weight yarn. So I'm going to use this yarn, which is a super saver, and it's also a size 4 medium weight. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay. I'm using this um, variated uh, yarn to, um, just because I like the way the little difference comes out. You're going to be using the size J hook, okay? And you're going to need your scissors and then just whatever else you need. Now for here, what we're going to do this, we're going to leave a long tail. I'm going to leave it maybe 14 inches. Because I'm gonna, you're gonna use this tail to sew it up and finish it off in the end. So, at least 14 inches. Okay, you can start your loop here, your uh, slip loop. There you go. So if you can see here, I'm gonna be having a fairly long tail. Okay, and now here for this. Um, pattern you're only going to be using single crochets and in, ch in um, the ch uh, chains to do to begin they're asking you to chain 55 to chain to do the chain remember we yarn over meaning we wrap our hook around our yarn and we pull it through so that's one and you're going to do 55 so go ahead and do 55 your 55 chains Okay, I finished all my chains and if you want you could wrap this around your head or the head of the person that's going to be using it. If you need to make it bigger, um, like if you're making it for a man, just add more chains, okay? And um, make sure it fits around the crown of the head. You could also do the same thing for making it for a child, just wrap, make the chains around their head, okay? So now once you do that, um, what we're going to start doing is on the second chain from the hook, which is one, 
two here. You're just going to work single crochet. That means you just stick your hook in there, pull out your yarn. There's going to be two loops and you pull through both of them. And you're going to do that in every every chain all the way across till you come to the end. And whether you have the 55 chains, if you added five more to make it 60 or if you're making it smaller, do one single crochet in each chain all the way across. Okay, I'm coming to my last um to my last stitch here. Oops. That tail is confusing me there. So here's my second to the last one. So here's the last chain. Okay, so once you get to the end, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work over, and then you're going to start here in your first there chain. You're going to be doing one single crochet all the way across. You're going to repeat your rows. You're going to keep adding the single crochet rows until your piece, until this piece right now is what, maybe like a half an inch, until this measures nine inches. When you measure nine inches, then I'm going to go ahead and work on this. Keep adding your rows, keep doing your rows the same way. You, When you get to the end, you chain one, turn your work over and start again. And when it measures nine inches, I'm going to come back and I will show you how to close it up and how we put it together. But that's pretty much it. This is all you're going to be doing is um, doing your single crochet rows, okay? So go ahead and do that. If you want to do it to give it a little more texture, this is just going to be flat. If you wanted to have ridges and just go only in the back loops. Um, but the pattern is just calling us to go into the chain. So it's going to be a nice um, even stitch like this. So I'm going to go ahead and make my rows. Keep to adding rows until I get to 9 inches. Okay, I finished making my um, rows. And as you can see now, it measures from one end. To the other end, we're at just about, wait, let me see here, nine inches there. So that's what we need to do. So here was my last stitch here. I'm going to leave a um, tail maybe about this long. And then I'm going to fasten it off there. Now you're going to need to get your um, yarn needle. Just put it through there. Okay. So remember, since we finished, this is where we started. This is the right side of our work and it's single crochet so it pretty much looks the same on both sides. So now where we started, when we first began, here was our strip. Remember that I made it long. You're going to thread your yarn through your needle. And this is always a challenging part for me because it's hard always sometimes to see through there. So what, my needle is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my other side here this way. There's different ways. We're going to seam up this back seam and then this one we're going to use to gather around the top. So this is going to be the lower edge of our hat and this is at the crown. So there's different ways to stitch. What I'm going to, the way that I'm going to do it for here and you could choose how you want to stitch your own stitching but um, I don't want it to be too much too bulky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like a stitch pick up the two my two chains here, maybe one chain, go through the other chain. I'm going to go this way all the way up, picking up all my stitches. Here's my next row. Let me see if I can show you there. Okay, now my next row, see here's one, here's another one. So I'm just going to go up like this and see when you do it that way it looks a little flatter. If you try to do it this way you're going to have a ridge and I don't want to have a ridge back there. So I'm just taking one of the, the top chains here. So now it looks flatter. Now I go to my next chain. Here is the next row. And here is the next row on the other side. And I'm pulling it through. So here and then here. And you're going to proceed that way all the way to the top. And see how it's coming out pretty. Um, you'll, of course, you know, depending on how well you sew, you might be able to see the seam more. So what I'm doing here, once again, I'm not taking both because that's going to make it too thick. I'm going to take one and then the front and then this one too on the other side of the loop of my chain and then I'm pulling them through. See? Do the same thing here. Here's one. Here's the other loop. Pulling it through. So you're working row by row until you get to the top. Here's my next one. Here's a stitch here and my next stitch there. 
So can you see how it's looking, the stitching? And it's, oops, sorry guys, missed the camera. So when you're working up, you'll, you will see that there's a little stitch. This is gonna be the back part where it goes to your, the back part of your head. But this is how you're gonna stitch all the way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. If you can't see the stitches, you can bend it a little bit like this. And then you could see, oh, here is my next chain. Here's the other chain, okay? So that way you can make sure you're stitching up all the way. So go ahead and finish your stitching. When you get to the end here, I'll show you how we do the top part. Okay, I have finished stitching up to the top. So here now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my last stitching. I'm gonna bring it into the inside and then do my knots here. My clothes, fasten it off. And you could do your knot. And then I'm just gonna kinda sew in my tails here. So I don't want that tail to show. And just hide it in there. Oops. Pull it through here. And once I pull that out, then I'll cut this string. So that's why I wanted you to make a, a long, long piece of uh, your tail. If you didn't leave a long tail, don't worry. You could get a new piece of yarn and then thread it in. This was just easy. I think this is easier. Now with the tail that you left after you finish your last row, now you're going to take your needle and you're going to thread this next tail here okay and what you're gonna do here you're just gonna go you're gonna just uh oh see what I mean I don't always get all the strings there that's what happens when you get older you can't see very well so now here what are you gonna do here now you're just gonna get this string and you're just gonna go in and out just weave in and out okay because we're just going to gather this top portion and we're gonna sew it shut so you're just going to weave in and out. You don't have to do it in every chain. Um, it's just going in and out. Make sure you go to all the way to the other side, okay? So basically you're going to go in through one side, pull it out, then come back out. All the way around. It's not, it's, uh, not hard. And of course if you want, you're going to keep uh, gathering it there. If you want, you could put embellish this with flowers or patches or whatever you want. This, it comes out pretty warm, but like if you're in a really cold climate, you know, like sometimes in the um, colder climates in the country, you can do this with a half double crochet instead of a single crochet and it comes out super, super thick. And uh, I know some people use two strands and then that's, or else you could use, you know, a heavier yarn. But this one, I, I will see how it's, you're just gathering that. That's going to be the top of your hat. So I'm just going to keep going all the way around. So this is one of the easier hats to do because if you can just do a single crochet and a chain, you can do this beanie, this little hat. This is one of the first ones um, I've showed people in my um, church group to do because it was easier for them to learn how to do it. So, let me get this here. I'm going to start trying to shut it off. You're going to pull it out, pull it, and then push your seams over, okay? See how that's getting there? I'm going to continue all the way around. Okay. Once you do this here, if you want, you could do a second row to get that top part, okay? Or else, what we're going to do here, if you only want to do one round, I sometimes I put a pom-pom here, but what you, you could just tie this off. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to kind of make a little knot there. You can put a like a little... Um, bottle or something on top and then I'm going to go through the top here and just go across and sew my other area shut okay it doesn't have to be perfect it's going to be in the top of your head see how I'm doing this some people don't do that you don't have to do that it's up to you I just like to make sure there's not a hole there because I don't want to get air you know on the top of my head That's why you need to make oops, make this a little bit longer. 
see that how you're closing off that hole I need to do a couple more stitches let me for now re I'm just gonna go ahead and do my last stitching I'm gonna bring it into the inside and then do my knots here my close fasten it off and you could do your knot and then I'm just gonna kind of sew in my tails here so I don't want that tail to show and just hide it in there Oops. pull it through here and once I pull that out then I'll cut this string so that's why I wanted you to make a, a long long piece of uh, your tail if you didn't leave a long tail don't worry you could get a new piece of yarn and then thread it in this was just easy I think this is easier now with the tail that you left after you finish your last row now you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna thread this next tail here okay and what you're gonna do here you're just gonna go you're gonna just uh oh see what I mean I don't always get all the strings there that's what happens when you get older you can't see very well so now here what are you gonna do here now you're just gonna get this string and you're just gonna go in and out just weave in and out okay because we're just going to gather this top portion and we're gonna sew it shut so you're just gonna weave in and out you don't have to do it in every chain um, it's just going in and out make sure you go to all the way to the other side okay so basically you're gonna go in through one side pull it out then come back out all the way around it's not it's uh, not hard and of course if you want you're gonna keep uh, gathering it there if you want you could put embellish this with flowers or patches or whatever you want this it comes out pretty warm but like if you're in a really cold climate you know like sometimes in the um, colder climates in the country you can do this with a half double crochet instead of a single crochet and it comes out super super thick and uh, I know some people use two strands and then that's or else you could use it you know a heavier yarn but this one I, I will see how it's, you're just gathering that that's gonna be the top of your hat so I'm just gonna keep going all the way around so this is one of the easier hats to do because if you can just do a single crochet and a chain you can do this beanie this little hat this is one of the first ones um, I've showed people in my um, church group to do because it was easier.